As the morning sun shines on Angkor Wat, the rural villages of Angkor come to life. Farmers emerge onto their fields against the backdrop of the unchallenged beauty of Angkor's temples. But this wonder of the ancient world is facing a modern assault. In recent years, attention has turned to development around the archaeological park. Stores, shops, businesses, vendors, more than 10,000 homes, residents that call this place home now in danger of being relocated. For six-year-old food vendor Mao Chu, the sun still shines, but its warmth is fading. Her household of nine will all soon have to move. Like many who have lost their income due to the lack of tourism during the pandemic, the idea of starting from scratch is frightening. <laughs> The jewel of Cambodia tourism, Angkor Wat was declared a World Heritage Site in 1992, quickly becoming the country's most popular attraction, powering the local economy with more than 2 million visitors every year. Along with that came a massive building boom in and around Siem Reap town, the gateway to the temple complex. For over a decade, Angkor was on UNESCO's list of endangered sites, and the threat of uncontrolled urban expansion, the committee's main concern. A concern the Cambodian government also shares. <laughs> By the new year, thousands of families have been told to vacate Angkor and move here, around 30 kilometers away, where there's little else than roads that cut into the muddy earth. Bok Sam and his family of five moved here two months ago, leaving behind his work and the home he lived in for generations. For him, Runta Aik is a place of last resort, with almost no employment opportunities. We never know what a new year will bring, but for thousands of families that will spend it packing up their belongings and leaving their entire lives behind, the future has never been so uncertain. The 9th century temples of Angkor now faced with modern problems, mass relocations in the name of cultural protection. Lucita Sao Gao, CGTN, Thailand.